Hi everyone, and welcome to today's oil painting time lapse and studio sessions episode 23. I just want to let you guys know that the original and prints of this piece are available at happyd-artist.com and for a limited time you can receive a free sticker with any purchase, no coupon code is necessary, and this deal ends October 31st, again at happyd-artist.com. Okay, let us begin chatting about today's topic of discussion. This is a list that I have been compiling for a while. I know I've made several videos on tips to launch an art career, but today I really wanted to dive into the non-art related skills that you need for an art career. So obviously I always stress the importance of having the basic fundamentals down on how to properly draw and paint and honing those fundamental skills that are so important to improving your craft but there's so much more that goes into an art career outside of just your artistic abilities or creative abilities and today I'm going to be talking about five of these skills that personally have really benefited my career and I have found especially helpful and these are skills that I didn't expect to have to be proficient in when I first began my career, but there are definitely things that you should keep an eye out for and things that should be on your radar if you decide to pursue art full time. And again, I know everyone's life is different, everyone's career path is different, so this might not be applicable to every single person, but for the type of career that I have, if you'd like to know a little bit more about it, um, these are the skills. The first skill on my list is technology, and this is probably the most extensive one that contains probably the most diverse sub skills that you'll need. I'm just going to run through them real quick. Um, out of all the technology related skills that I've had to pick up over the years as a self-employed artist, here, here it comes. Uh, Photoshop, so basically learning how to properly take photos of your pieces and also use Photoshop to edit them to make them look like the originals. Tweaking the brightness, saturation, the contrast, the curves, the levels. Um, social media is a huge skill and it may sound easy like all you have to do is post something on Instagram or post something on YouTube but it actually requires a lot more granularity than that with social media you have to learn about the different algorithms how to play them in your favor and most postings on social media require you to generate content that also require the knowledge of certain software such as Photoshop or video editing software which brings me to my next uh, skill, and that is video editing. It's a huge subset of most of the technology-related tasks that I have to do. Um, video editing comprises not only of knowing how to properly film, set up, light all your videos, but also how to render them, edit them in a way that's not only clean and professional, but also interesting and meaningful, and learning how to tell a story with your videos. Um, also printing. So if you want to make your own prints, you'll have to learn how to set up a printer, debug the printer when there's problems, calibrate your specific monitor to the printer, um, make artist proofs, color match, and of course websites. So if you want to sell your artwork online or just having a professional website, which I highly recommend everyone, you'll have to know how to use the website software. And if you want to run your own store, you'll have to have an understanding of how to manage an e-commerce platform. And that is just a whole can of worms that I could probably devote many, many videos to talking about. But yeah, just kind of to give you a rough idea, a huge chunk of any artist's career has to revolve around the many different facets of technology. The second major skill that you have to have is sales slash marketing slash advertising. So some sort of business skills. And although I did not graduate with a business degree, I don't think I even took any business classes in college. I really found myself having to tap into the kind of business mindset or the entrepreneurial mindset when it comes to trying to make a living out of art. You have to know your audience, know your customers. Um, even posting on social media, you have to find the optimal times of day to post to reach the optimal audience for your work. 
Um, you have to pay attention to what sells and what doesn't. And oftentimes you'll have to make spreadsheets or, you know, documents to kind of track your sales patterns and performance. So all this stuff is might sound kind of tedious and boring, but trust me, if you pay attention to the business side, it will definitely help you improve and grow your business faster. The third skill kind of related is accounting and bookkeeping. So the first major reason why you should definitely pay attention to the accounting side of your business and your career is taxes. If you are an artist, chances are, especially like me, starting out, you probably didn't earn a lot of money. But the good news is that you are probably not going to have to pay as much tax. <laughs> um, but this comes with learning how to calculate your expenses, tracking all of your receipts, and also kind of figuring out which investments are actually worthy and which investments are maybe not as valuable in your art career. So perhaps, for example, it may seem like a waste of money to pay to have a sponsored Instagram or Facebook post, um, but it honestly might surprise you. It might lead you to a potential client that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to reach. And, you know, on the flip side, perhaps spending lots of money on the most expensive and the most extensive um, art supply collection might seem like a good idea, a worthy investment, but, you know, maybe it doesn't actually yield a noticeable impact in your paintings quality. Or maybe there were many ways for you to save money, like instead of buying multiple tubes of many different shades of colors, you could have saved money by learning to mix colors and work with fewer tubes. And so you never know what could be a great investment for your business. And oftentimes there's no way to tell other than to try it out and see for yourself. And again, you will have to use some sort of spreadsheet or boring type of documentation system to track all these things. And the fourth major skill that you have to learn is writing. And this is just my personal opinion, but I've definitely found myself in many situations where written communication was super important in progressing my art career. So whether it's communicating with potential clients or writing copy for your social media posts or advertisements, or even just replying to customer emails or Instagram DMs, it always helps to have a good grasp on your written communication skills. You must be able to sound professional while still conveying your messages clearly and also sounding natural and not too robotic. You know, you don't want to be like an infomercial salesman, but you also don't want to sell yourself short and you want to be sure that whoever you're talking to knows kind of what you have to offer and what it's worth. So I think writing is a key component in building a successful relationship with your clients and um, negotiating salaries or wages. Um, and also just in general, I think writing and writing skills um, is just a great asset for any type of career. And the last major skill, and this is one that I think maybe only applies if you want to run your own art store, which again, I highly recommend because you definitely get to keep the highest margin of profits. Um, but the final skill is shipping and packaging. So this especially is important during holiday season when you're probably going to make the most sales. And I'm looking at the holiday season coming up for myself as well. Um, it's always super stressful, but super worth it if you can do it right and get your art to the customer's home safely. So you have to know how to not only properly package your artwork, what packing materials to buy, but also how to ship your merchandise. So that includes learning about the various shipping couriers available to you. I know in the United States, we have the US Post Office, UPS, FedEx. Um, you have to know about international shipping and details regarding customs, delivery times. And these are all questions that I've gotten from clients. Um, and you'll notice too, if a package doesn't arrive or is delayed, the client will turn to you for answers and you need to be prepared and know the right, correct responses. So in doing this art career, I've had to learn a lot about my local post office, um, policies, international policies, customs, times, and all that stuff. So 
this is my list of five non-art related surprising skills for a successful art career. I hope you guys found this one useful and I really hope it kind of guides you in starting your art career. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your encouraging comments. You guys really make my day. Real quick before I end this video, I wanted to proudly show off these beautiful coloring entries from my monthly $1 coloring challenge. If you'd like to participate in this month's challenge, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash happydartist and pledge at least $1. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.